What's up, guys? It's Emmy Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Gilberto Ramirez versus Alfonso Lopez, which will be a 12 rounder in the light heavyweight division. And this will be Friday, December 18th, from the Galveston Island Convention Center in Galveston, Texas. And this will be sponsored by Zerto Promotions, El Tigre Promotions, and I don't know where it's going to be broadcasted personally, and it's going to be pay-per-view. So in my opinion, this card should not be pay-per-view at all. It's really just two big names, which are Gilberto Ramirez and Michael Hunter as the co-main event versus two unknown opponents. So, yeah, I don't really think it should be pay-per-view, and I don't even know where you could buy the pay-per-view personally. But going into both fighters, Gilberto Ramirez fighting out of Mexico has an excellent, tremendous record of 40-0 with 26 knockouts. Um, and first of all, many people who don't know who Ramirez is, he is the former WBO Super Movie World Champion. As I said before, he is ranked amongst the top five in the light heavyweight division. Uh, he won that WBO Super Movie World title against Arthur Abraham by wide unanimous decision. He defended that title against Maxime Bursak. Uh, Jesse Hart by unanimous decision and majority decision in their rematch. He has a KO win against Habib Med, defending that title in the sixth round. He also has a unanimous decision win against Romero Alexis Angulo, defending that world title. But then he moved up to light heavyweight in his most recent fight of April of 2019, getting the fourth round a corner stoppage win against Tommy Carpensi, known for fighting some of the top light heavyweights. But um, getting into his opponent, Alfonso Lopez, he has a very good record of 32-3 and three with 25 KOs, but um, that record isn't really too pretty when you look into it. Um, he's currently ranked number 61 by Boxrec. Um, his last big fight was against Kelly Pavlik in 2011, where he did lose by majority decision, but that was nine years ago. Um, recently, he's lost to Daya Davis, who was 20-2 and two at the time, I believe so, and he lost to Justin Williams for, if you guys don't know, had a record of 3-5. and five. I mean, it's just tremendous how this is pay-per-view. I, I can tell that you guys know that um, I'm not happy with this, being that I just, I don't understand how it's pay-per-view. It's a guy who's lost to a guy who's 3-5, and five, taking on a 40-0 and 0 former world champion. I just don't understand it. Uh, Williams, as I said before, was 3-5. and five. He did beat Alfonso Lopez, who was Zerto's re- opponent. Um, but I can't really find any good wins on Lopez's resume, even though he is the opponent of the former world champion. The only win I possibly could put on there was his win against Alex Tehran, who was 21-3 and at the time, but that was for the NABO world title. But um, I just, <laughs> I know I've voiced my opinion hundreds of times here already, saying that this should not be pay-per-view, but this should not be pay-per-view. Sound off in the comments what you guys think of this. Um, and there's plenty of better fights this weekend than this card. There's the Triple G card. There is also the Canelo card. And um, there's a card in Africa as well featuring Munga Makabu. I didn't think I'll be able to watch that fight, but I'm pretty excited to see how we'll look defending his WBC Cruiserweight World title. But there's just plenty of other cards better than this. And there's Gabayo versus Rodriguez as well. But um, in my opinion, this fight will be a wide and boring, in my opinion. It'll be a wide and boring decision for Gilberto Ramirez. Even though Ramirez is not boring or anything, he just has had more than a year layoff. I believe it was a year and eight months, the whole layoff. More than a year and a half, so I just don't know how we'll do in the ring, even though he's fighting an opponent who's really not that good at all. Even though Lopez has not been stopped um, at all, and Ramirez is known for knocking out guys or brutalizing them, I just think this fight's going to be a long, boring decision, being that, as I said before, Lopez has never been stopped, uh, fought some decent guys. But, um, yeah, I think the scorecards will probably be 120-108, 119-109, if not 118-110, depending how Lopez shows up. Currently, Ramirez is ranked amongst the top five in the WBO rankings, and I believe he's ranked number three in the WBC. I know he's amongst the top three, but he is highly ranked in those sanctioning bodies. But in my opinion, why would he move up to light heavyweight when he was the distinguished more than five defenses super middleweight world champion? I just don't understand it. Maybe the money wasn't good there and he just wanted to move up, but I think he should definitely stay at super middleweight and defend that world title as much as he can. But um, really, that's his uh, opinion and what he should do with his career, but that was just my point. But um, overall, as I said before, I think Gilberto Ramirez will improve to 41-0, improving that excellent um, undefeated record. But do I think he could beat uh, Mayweather's, in my opinion, no, being that he'll obviously take on like a Kovalev, even though I think he will beat Kovalev. He will take on someone like Bivol or Better Biev sooner than later after this fight. But um, in my opinion, this fight was a comeback fight, but it definitely should not be pay-per-view at all. So overall, my final prediction is Alberto Ramirez wins via wide unanimous decision against Alfonso Lopez, improving to 41-0, as I said before. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm Amy Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.